everyone in the name of jesus may god bless everyone today god is going to speak into your lives i thank god in the name of jesus for giving me an opportunity to minister in this platform also i thank uh, apostle uh, james for inviting me to minister in this platform once again i again thank god also I am humbled. I thank uh, everyone, all brothers and sisters, those who are watching this uh, video. Welcome uh, Sister Jalisa Wolford. The Lord is going to ignite the fire in you. Um, Sister Jalisa Wolford, welcome Sister Kim Mitchell. Uh, sudden breakthrough I hear. Welcome Sister Norma Garza. Your position is going to change. Welcome Sister Remya Rai foreign trips coming foreign trips coming um, sister remia rai welcome sister carol smith uh, the lord is uh, touching your nerves and blessing you you are going to become popular i hear the word so welcome sister rachel israel uh, frequent travels i hear frequent travels in flight uh, i hear the doors are opening many opportunities are opening for you Welcome Sister um, uh, Julie Nelly, uh, the peace of the Lord is upon you. Uh, welcome Sister Shondi Anderson, I am in you, do not be afraid. The Lord says, I am in you, do not be afraid. Welcome Sister Kania Batsion, uh, the Lord is making you uh, popular, I hear the word. The Lord will bless you in every area, Sister Kania Batsion. Welcome Sister, uh, hallelujah, welcome uh, Sister Cheryl Colondon's story. Uh, you are called to minister, uh, the Lord is telling to do the ministry in full swing. Sister Cheryl Colondon, welcome, hallelujah, welcome Sister Yashika Mahata. Uh, breakthrough in your life, I hear the word breakthrough in your life, Sister Yashika Mata, welcome Sister Cynthia Hall, um, I hear the word the government has approved your sanction, your petition, the government has approved your petition, welcome uh, everyone, welcome everyone, Sister Mona Tumold, um, I hear the you will uh, you will escape uh, you will escape uh, from uh, sudden attack of enemy i hear the word so you will at, you will escape from the sudden attack of enemy sister mona tumold welcome uh, brother dc anderson the lord is uh, changing i hear the change of church i hear so the change of church, um, uh, brother D. C. Um, 
I don't know, the Lord is going to change your church. I hear so. D. C. Anderson, brother, uh, hallelujah. Welcome, uh, brother Juan Chavas. Uh, the glory of the Lord is going to manifest in you. The glory of the Lord is going to manifest in you, brother Juan Chavas. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, welcome everyone to this video. Welcome Sister Judy Collins. The Lord has seen your misery and the Lord is, uh, um, I hear the word rebirth. A rebirth, that means uh, a born again. Uh, rebirth means um, again, again to be born. Um, uh, born again. You have to be, the Lord say, say so, that's what I am saying for a deliverance. Uh, Sister Judy Collins, uh, uh, hallelujah. Welcome everyone, those who are watching. I can see your names. Um, the Lord is going to bless everyone. How many of you believe that your life is going to be blessed? I have a word with you to share. That is from the book of Romans uh, chapter 8. Before coming into the video, let us close our eyes for a moment to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your presence released here. Thank you, Lord, for your grace released here. Thank you, Lord, for giving me an opportunity to minister in this platform. I thank everyone in this group. I thank God for touching everyone. Thank you, Lord, for bringing your children before this video. May you speak to them. May your power and fire and healing power be released upon them and everyone see a breakthrough. There should not be any disturbance, interaction and let the video, audio quality be good and great. Only the name of Jesus be exalted. Give me accuracy in revelation and prophecy and you speak through me. I submit, I surrender to you Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So God is going to speak into your life. Whatever may be the situation, the Lord is telling, I am going to increase the anointing in you. How many of you believe? I am going to increase the anointing in you. I have a word with you to share. That is from the book of Romans chapter 8. Um, hallelujah. 15. 8, uh, 15. This is the word. I have put that uh, in the heading. The caption as uh, spirit of adoption. So you are adopted as the son of God. Equal and uh, uh, like. Uh, the, uh, you are entitled to have all what Jesus had. So that is the grace. I am going to read. Uh, Romans 8.15 For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we, we cry out Abba Father. We can call God Father. We have given the privilege to call God Father because we are adopted as sons and that is what is saying for you did not receive the spirit of bondage. So uh, realize one, one thing. When you receive Jesus Christ as Savior. After hearing the gospel. When you believe in the word of God. What happens? You will uh, receive um, water baptism. And uh, you will afterwards receive the Holy Spirit. So that is what it is saying. You have received the spirit. Not the spirit of bondage. But the spirit of adoption as the son so you can call without any hesitation you can call boldly father Abba father means you are entitled to what all God has given to Jesus that is for you also I will read the spirit himself bears witness with your spirit that we are children of God so you are a child of God when you read the book of John 1 12 you can see God has given the authority to become the children of God to only those who accept and receive Jesus Christ as Savior so it is God who gives us the authority to, to become the children of God we can say I am a child of God but God has to approve God has to acknowledge it so it is very important so 
if you say that you are a child of God, but God has to approve it, God has to acknowledge it. So today um, God has approved you because he has given you the spirit of adoption. So you can call him father. So do not be entangled into bondage again because he has set you free and you are entitled. I will read the um, uh, 17th verse. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joined has with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. So, I tell you one thing, I tell you one thing, we are called uh, as uh, not just as believers, we are called as the believers will come to church, they will go. They will again come to church in the Sunday. But to realize one thing, we are not just believers. Everyone can believe. Everyone who walks on the road, who travels on the road, they can believe. They, when they hear the gospel, when they read the Bible, they believe. They are the believers. But we are the children of God. God has given us the authority to become the child of God. And he has given us the spirit of adoption. So we can call him father the believers cannot call them father but since we are the children of god we can call god father abba father so we should not be into bondage we should not be entangled again into bondage and say we have many problems what the 17th verse is saying we are the highs joined heads of jesus so what god has given to jesus everything is for us also Sometimes with your in your external with your external eyes when you see when you look around you see others blessed but you are not blessed. Look into the life of Jesus. He was born in a Manchester in a cow shed. He was um, he was going through many trials in his young age and he was persecuted much till his 30th year he did not start his ministry so uh, God was training he was passing through many uh, problems in his life may, maybe even his family members his brothers and sisters may not have accepted him and the neighbors may not have accepted him but I tell you we are called as the joined heirs of Jesus. So what all Jesus had to pass through, we have to pass through that. Because that verse is saying, if we suffer for the sake of Jesus, we will also be glorified. So very soon there will be a glory coming. I, I believe when you believe that uh, you, are, you are a joined heir of God. Maybe when you look around, you see others blessed and you are not blessed. But when you ask Joseph in the, when he was in the thrown out in the well and also when he was in the prison he, he will say that I know that God loves me and I am his son so one day I will be lifted I am now passing through this trial to uh, to pass the test so you, you have to pass the test so you should not open your mouth and say I have many problems it is on the way it is in the it is uh, when you pass through the wilderness there won't be water there won't be enough uh, food but it is only just a test but it is only for a certain time. After that, there will be a promotion. I tell you, everyone looking into everyone's name, your life is going to change. Um, hallelujah. Kanya Batsi on sister. I see your life is going to change. A promotion in every area. Uh, very uh, speedy. I hear the word speedy travels. You will travel you know, for the gospel. I hear the word. Hallelujah. Welcome uh, Sister Rita P uh, Pearl. The Lord is telling um, financial breakthrough is coming. You, uh, uh, open your eyes and see the blessings of the Lord. The Lord says Sister uh, Rita Pearl um, financial opening and uh, the spirit is going to come into your life and lead you. Holy Spirit is coming uh, in you in fullness and the investigation report that is coming will come in favor the people who accused you will be put silent and you will be honored and you will get the right seat I, I sense you are seeking for a seat the Lord is telling you will get the right seat 
Hallelujah. A promotion is coming. Hallelujah. I see your name as uh, Jolly uh, Rutledge. I see uh, Joyally Rutledge. I, I see your name, Royal Joyally Rutledge. A promotion is coming and increment is getting whatever you have done for the Lord. The Lord is giving you in double fold and um, I see a movement in your, in your place. I see you settling near the banks of the paddy field. I see, I see the paddy field. Uh, the Lord is uh, uh, taking you into the new place. Um, you are in a, uh, in a situation what to take the decision. The Lord will speak to you. The Holy Spirit will speak to you. The Lord is going to um, uh, erase everything that is bringing confusion in your mind. Joyly Rutledge. The word for you. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. The glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. La Drina Swini. I see your name as La Drina Swini. Uh, financial breakthrough. And uh, I see um, uh, something has to be vomited out. I, I see something. Uh, when you vomit out, let it go out in the name of Jesus and you will see deliverance. I see steps. I see elevation. You are going to be lifted up. Uh, let it go out. Let it be vomited out. The Lord says and it is going to happen. You are going to see the breakthrough. Ladrina Sini. I see going um, you, you climbing upstairs. There is a promotion. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Uh, you are healed. Hallelujah. Norma Garsa sister, I hear the word. You are healed. Complete healing on your leg. Receive the healing of Jesus. Receive the healing power right now in the name of Jesus. Complete healing. Hallelujah. And Kennedy Alexandria Palmer, I see breakthrough. Breakthrough in your life. The glory of the Lord is upon you. You are promoted. You are promoted. Raised to the next level. I see you will, you will meet your old friend. I hear the word like that. You will, the old friend who dishonored you, you will be honored before that friend. Because it is God who is going to honor you. And you are given more high positions. I see the word for you, Kennedy brother. Uh, the power of the Lord is coming upon you, sister Lena Gravina. Lena Gravina, the power of the Lord is coming upon you. And you will renew the strength. Uh, I hear the word, the toothache healed. Uh, God is uh, touching your uh, tooth and uh, the toothache uh, healed in the name of Jesus. The bronchitis healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So um, you sit down at home and pray. Um, uh, Judy Collins sister. The Lord is uh, telling. The Lord is telling uh, sister Judy Collins. Pray at home. Pray at all and you will see deliver, deliverance. The breakthrough is coming. The big mountains, the big mountains that are before you is going to be moved in the name of Jesus. And you will walk properly. I hear the word. You will walk properly. The Lord is healing you, touching you, filling you, uh, you filling your nerves. And you are going to walk properly. I hear the word so. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Sister Judy Collins. The word for you. Hallelujah. So there will be a, a change. Your time. Uh, brother John Hubert. I see the park. Um, the park is for uh, relaxation. You are now in these days. It is the time of relaxation. I see you sitting in a park. And um, new connections are coming to you. You are going to see the hand of Lord working in you. I see um, the Lord is uh, focusing you in the prophetic. The Lord is uh, raising you in the prophetic uh, realm. Increase in knowledge and power coming to you. Brother John Hubert. Hallelujah.
you have the right to stand Janine Dillon Janine Dillon sister I hear the word you are in a confusion to take the what decision you have to take the Lord says you have the right to stay stay you have the right to stay and authority is given to you from above from God and it will change uh, the division in your family you will settle in the in the place where you are called to go to your husband's house says the lord go to your husband's house the lord says and be submissive to him the lord will lift you up and he will come back to jesus the lord says sister jenny dillon the word for you hallelujah and um, the financial breakthrough ashika mahata sister i see i see the fa financial breakthrough and uh, your colleagues are coming to meet you and there will be a get together i see financial settlement and breakthrough um, the power of the lord will come upon you and i see also a movement you are moving you are moving into Mm, you you will go abroad i hear the word so i see the desert in the i sense you are going to middle east i see the sand and the desert so financial breakthrough is coming there is a change in your life coming oh shakaram uh, the lord is loosening the knot of your tongue is daira iva you are going to speak boldly something that is holding you back to speak right now the power of god is coming upon you and speak boldly that person who is irritating you in your life you open your mouth and speak boldly and the enemy will um, leave you so you are safe sister daira iwa the lord is bringing many changes in your life i see renovation in the house renovation hallelujah oh shakaram um, some things you have to split i hear the word shondi anderson sister i see a scissor what is the scissor used for scissors are for to cut something something you have to cut from uh, remove from your life the lord says uh, and the lord is going uh, um, to bless your family your married life is going to be blessed the lord is giving you children and the lord is giving you a new house um, i see it is a double storied house i see the steps the staircase in that house the lord is going to have an assembly before i i sense uh, some some uh, issues before regarding uh, in the, uh, some something in the office or in the um, between the work in the workplace but the lord is going to settle everything the lord is going to settle everything sister um, shondi anderson hallelujah uh, the manuver hallelujah ladrina sini the manuver is i hear the you know manuver means um, it is a fertilizer to make grow the, so the lord is going to um, add something in your in your life to make you move like the coal that is uh, used for the train the old train the steam engine to run likewise the lord is going to add something into your life to push you forward for the ministry so jump into the next level sister ladrina uh, swini hallelujah financial problem uh, pastor sadish isaac i hear the word a uh, financial problem the major problem i sense the major problem uh, i i hear uh, rebuilding rebuilding of church i hear the word rebuilding of church and the lord is going to give you finance for it and the people will come and they will invest i see the investing of a uh, fund for the rebuilding the opportunities are opening for you the doors are opening for you to go to middle east i hear the word Visit visiting visa and traveling i see like that uh, they will invite you to minister pastor sadish isaac 
uh, hallelujah there will be a great change coming in your life uh, hallelujah it is um, sister Jalisa Wolford a great change you are going to be honored in your own place where you are rejected I, I sense you are rejected by the um, authorities I sense you are rejected by the um, people where you are acquainted with with your, uh, you are rejected by the relatives so God is going to honor you God is going to uh, bring you back into the right place and uh, financial breakthrough I see Mm, the glory of the Lord is coming upon you and you will speak boldly and the prophetic mandate will come upon you and Lord will bless you you will become famous I see I the word uh, came to me in my mouth so um, sister Rachel Israel I hear um, you will travel to many nations I hear the honor is coming to you God is going to honor you you will speak to many kings I hear the word you will speak to many kings if you believe the Lord is going to anoint you more the power of God is coming upon you change in address um, sister Rachel as uh, Israel I hear change in address hallelujah sister Remya Rai I hear the word your grandmother healed in the name of Jesus I hear the word your grandmother healed and um, you are going to see the righteousness of God in your family you are going to be honored sister Remya Rai sudden breakthrough and uh, financial breakthrough is coming on the way sister Remya Rai hallelujah sister Kimberly Cochin C pass I see God is going to extend your boundaries uh, your business something what you are um, I see the barrel of oil like you know the barrel uh, that I see like that the vision um, something what you are doing the business God is going to bless it financial breakthrough and um, the allergy healed I hear I, he, I hear the word the allergy healed and uh, um, pain uh, healed the leg pain healed and you will walk and climb the steps I see like that the Lord is positioning you, you uh, you are called to minister when you do the ministry in full swing the Lord will bless you what you are doing the financial area will also be blessed um, I see your children also are blessed uh, sister um, uh, Kimberly Kochanski Pask um, hallelujah and uh, hallelujah so I was sharing with you that um, we are the children of God if we are the children of God we can go boldly suppose I sense uh, somebody is uh, ashamed to stand before people so I tell you I am not mentioning that name I sense somebody is ashamed to go for the wedding ceremony somebody is ashamed to go for the housewarming because uh, that person is lacking many things I tell you uh, I, I am looking into that person and telling you you should not be ashamed you have to go through maybe uh, but the Lord who is looking at you will honor you this is a test this is a test you cannot go into that place because you lack many things and uh, you won't be honored you won't you won't be honored much as you think because you lack many things but I tell you this is a test if you go through that test immediately God will honor you God wants you to have your head straight before not to bend down to have your head straight so go go and attend the ceremony and when you start to go the Lord will honor you this is a word to one person that who is ashamed to go so hallelujah I am not mentioning that name 
the Lord is going to honor you before your relatives, before your friends. So your life is going to change. To everyone I am telling, because we are the children of God, we have received the spirit of adoption and not the spirit of bondage. Those who are in bondage, they cannot see the light, but we are in the light. We are not the spirit of, having the spirit of bondage, but we are having the spirit of adoption and we have the fire of God in us so all the curses are going to be broken right now in the in the name of Jesus maybe you are thinking that you need a financial problem but the Jesus in you the spirit of Jesus in you is very rich even when he was rich he was born in a lower place likewise you may be sometimes going through many problems but I tell you the Jesus in you is very rich if you believe that and if you think that the provision will come at that moment it is up to you when you think that the spirit of Jesus is in you when you you are speaking in tongues that is because God has approved you with the spirit of adoption that's why you are speaking in tongues and when you speak in tongues do not be entangled into the bondage again because you are having the spirit of bond not the spirit of bondage the spirit of adoption so open your mouth look into the your body where you need a healing and look into your body and um, be glad because you are having the spirit of jesus so when you have the spirit of jesus this is the body of Jesus and there is no disease, no pain. You are immediately healed. Right now you are, when you think like that, when you look into your empty passbook, when you look into your empty bank account, you are, think that you are having the spirit of Jesus. Immediately there will be a, a provision coming from God. That is the hand of God. So somebody wants to attend a um, get together uh, function. Somebody wants to attend a marriage function. Somebody wants to go to the public place but cannot go because uh, something is holding them back. But I tell you, you are the one who is having authority. You must know that you are the one, you are the child of God. The others are not the child of God. You are the child of God because you are, you are speaking in tongues. You have given the spirit of adoption and not the spirit of bondage. So go boldly. And when you go, you are not going alone because the Lord will send the angels with you and the provision will come at you and you will be honored where you go. How many of you believe? So the Lord is going to bless everyone. And um, uh, your cattle is also. I hear the word uh, Sister Rita Pearl. Uh, your cattle is blessed. Cattle means what you have uh, in your domestic area is blessed. Financial breakthrough coming Sister Norma Garsa. The promotion in your life Sister Judy Collins. Uh, social distance keep social distance uh, sister rachel uh, israel i hear the word social distance uh, um, hallelujah the lord is uh, extending your boundaries sister mona tumuld uh, the power and fire in you sister carol smith power and fire in you the lord is going to change your uh, circumstances kimberly kochensi past sister the lord is going to change your circumstances uh, you are healed sister Kim sister Kim you are healed inside you are healed uh, sister Kim hallelujah promotion coming to you sister Julie Nali rice the Lord is blessing your children uh, sister Rachel Israel financial breakthrough sister Cynthia Hall financial breakthrough um, the promise is going to happen, uh, Sister Orita Heave. The promise you are going to uh, fulfill. Hallelujah. 
Kimberly Matthews Scott sister your your blood relations are all coming to invite you I see like that sister Kimberly Matthew Scott hallelujah um, the power of the Lord is coming upon you and bringing a great change in your life hallelujah uh, sister Jeliza Wolford the word for you the power of the Lord is coming upon you and giving a breakthrough in your life you are going to see the great changes uh, the Lord is going to extend your boundaries. Jeliza Wolfer sister. Hallelujah. Oh Shakarama Kastarama. Uh, the world is opening for everyone. I am I am uh, I am to everyone I am prophesying. The world is opening. How many of you believe that you are called for the nations? You are called for the nations. That's why you are in this uh, watching this video. I see the dentist will heal you Halle, um, uh, uh, the, um, through the dentist I hear the word uh, God will uh, somebody wants to see the dentist uh, and the Lord is telling the healing power will come when you meet the dentist hallelujah your toothache is healed hallelujah in the name of jesus uh, it is o um, shakaram ista naba in the name uh, uh, hallelujah yes um, uh, jelisa wolford uh, i hear the word toothache healed toothache healed and lord is uh, setting aside all the cases that is uh, coming against you hallelujah so uh, the Lord is going to bless everyone in this group. Uh, I thank God in the name of Jesus for giving me an opportunity to minister. So uh, let us close our eyes to pray. If I have not mentioned any word for anyone else, this is the prophetic word to everyone. Uh, uh, listen all brothers and sisters. If I have not mentioned any of your name, or if I have not given any um, uh, word to you, this is the prophetic Rhema word which God spoke to me this early morning. That go and tell your um, go and tell um, uh, my children. The Lord told me to share. That is, you have the spirit of adoption. So, when you have the spirit of adoption, realize that you are a child of God. You are don't compare your life with others that you have to understand one one thing the first thing maybe others in the in the world's eye others are blessed but don't compare your life because your your citizenship is in heaven not in this world you will live in in the eternal world you will live in a you will have an eternal life with jesus and god so don't compare your life with other gentiles when you see other gentiles blessed do not be upset because you are called for a purpose joseph was called for a purpose and daniel was called for a purpose david was called for a purpose and paul the apostle was called for a purpose so realize one thing you compare your life with the saints in the bible not with the gentiles when you look into the life of the saints of the Bible, you can see they were passing through many hurdles and problems and later they were blessed. Later everyone was blessed. So don't compare your life with uh, other people, but compare your life with the saints of the Bible because you have received the spirit of adoption. This is the word. So when you have a pain or disease in your body look what jesus told to uh, paul jesus uh, said god told to paul let it let it be there my grace is sufficient for you paul prayed for three times 
for an healing, for a deliverance. But what God said, that is, uh, let it be there. My grace is sufficient for you. So you compare your life with the saints of the Bible and not with the neighbors or the friends you, who have studied with you or those colleagues. But because they are not having the spirit of adoption only you are having the spirit of adoption when you believe that when you when you realize the truth you are set free you are set for free from all bondage and you will get the healing immediately immediately that same moment you will be healed so today looking into everyone's name when you realize the truth that you are not a common man in this world you are called for a purpose and you are you are having the spirit of adoption and you are the joined heir of jesus immediately all your problems are um, daily you are freed from all your pro problems financial breakthrough immediately there will be provision coming healing immediately that is very important so we are the joined heads so i am going to pray for you hallelujah father in the name of jesus touch everyone bless everyone speak in everyone and let the word that you gave to me to share and let everyone receive and let it br they bring forth full and the word bring forth uh, fruitfulness lord fill everyone let the power of god come upon everyone let the fire of god come upon everyone let the marriages take place let um, everyone who do not have houses get new houses everyone who does not have a work to um, for the means of transportation have a new work lord those who are go waiting for to go abroad let the visas be stamped and the flight tickets be arranged let there be financial breakthrough and let there be healing in every area right now let the power of god come upon and fill everyone with the holy spirit let the nine gifts and fruits of holy spirit be activated in everyone's life bless everyone in the name of jesus thank you lord for giving me an opportunity to minister here in the name of jesus amen hallelujah so i thank uh, everyone i i thank uh, apostle james uh, for uh, inviting me to minister here also i am humbled uh, uh, before all brothers and sisters for sparing your valuable time but i believe when you believe that you are a child of god and you have received the spirit of adoption and you are the joined heir of what all god has given to jesus at the moment you are healed at the moment you are delivered so that is the work of god so um, do not be upset god is going to bless you in every area of your life so uh, i will be i will be coming on live next week uh, same time in this group uh, next week same time in this group i will be coming on live so uh, god bless everyone uh, you are going to see the miracles uh, jesus name amen